Tonight is November the 15th, 2018, and I have got to show you guys something that I am totally amazed at. Now, I've got a transformer out here. You saw this last night. Here's pretty much the schematic of it. It's got a tapped primary. Very desirable transformer for tube amps. It's got 800 volts at 400 milliamps. It's got uh, 6.3 at Bolt filament one at 5.3 amps, another one at 5.3, another one at 3.5. It's got a uh, 5 volt 2 amp, 5 volt 6 amp, and a 22.5 volt at 1 amp. Okay. Now, I got into this idea of buck boost. Now, I can completely conceive of the idea of, like, when I put the negative wire right here, one side of the AC line here, and here, of course, I get these voltages. And that's what I've got right now. This is the output. This is the 800 volts. I've got to be very, very careful there. I've got it across a 10K load, so I'm drawing some power. I want to load it a little bit. And i got the meter across there, and then you can see the meter right there. Now, I can completely conceive of putting one of these or two, or even three, however you want to wire these, but let's just do one at a time in series with this one right here so that our voltage goes in here and say here because these two are wired together. I don't want to wire, I don't want to draw too many lines on it because it'll, it'll get weird, but let, let's, let's jump that one over to there so that our AC input line now goes to here and here. Now, if this is in phase with this, I would expect this voltage to go down, and it does. But if I put this out of phase, this voltage goes up. I didn't know it would do that. Let me show you. I'm just going to start showing you what this thing does. It blows me away. Hopefully not, literally. Okay, it's unplugged. Um, I'm hooking it to the... Um, Oops, I'm hooking it to the um, 115 volt, right here, 115 volt side, and this is what our transformer output is, uh, without any, any, any funny business going on. It's pretty high. It's 878 volts. I'm going to write that down. 878 volts. 881. Okay, well, it's going to vary a little bit. Okay, 881. Let's hope, you know, a little bit of line voltage here and there. Okay, now let's unplug it. Now, over here on one of these six volt windings, I think you can see all that I'm doing. I'm going to put it over there, and I'm going to put the other side of that six volt winding back to that same point. So I've added another winding in there. I have added in series with the primary one of these uh, six volt winding and I'm going to plug it back in. We had 881 now we got 831. Okay that 831 makes sense kind of doesn't it? 831. It's going to be some ratio there. So we drop the voltage. That makes sense to me. But what about if we reverse the phase on these two right here, like that. All I did was reverse the phase. Instead of hooking the wire to that side, I hooked it to this side. And now we're going to put our 120 volts from here to here. Watch what happens. Went up to 932. 32. We've got a boost out of it. I didn't know it would work like that. Okay. Now, if, if that's not cool enough, we can keep seriesing these things. Okay. Now, let's jump her this one over to here and put these two in series. Let's put another 6-volt winding in series with it. See, now I'm going to be using two of them. I've got these in series, and if I've got it out of phase and it's actually going to go back, 
it's going to drop back from 932 I guess to 831 I'm not sure 992 okay well see I got it boosting again now I've got 992 you see where I'm going with this this is our original voltage I was able to drop it to 831 and then by putting it in by reversing the phrase I got 932 I got another 100 volts out of it now I got 992 well it's actually up to a, a, almost a, it's up to a thousand volts now we can we can understand some of that about loads coming on and off the house I mean the uh, the line voltage varying on Volter 2 is going to change the output now what about if we reverse all of this right here instead of putting it like that let's see what would be the opposite of that that would be moving this one over here and this one over here now I would expect to get a pretty serious voltage drop and it dropped down to 789 789 see this is this is what it is normally so I was able to drop it to 731 I was able to raise it to 932 992 even up to a thousand and then when I reversed this right here I dropped it from the 992 1000 range down to 789 which is lower than this one 100 volts lower than this one absolutely amazing I did not know that I could I could raise the voltage I knew I could drop it and I've even got another 6 volt winding I can put in there and it just continues I'd like to know why I'd like to know if this is sustainable can you wire it like this permanently I don't want to just hear this buck boost thing I don't want to hear one's a buck and one's a boost obviously I know that but how is this thing actually functioning with the secondary winding skin series with the primary it obviously adds more turns in to the primary which changes the turns ratio from the primary to this high voltage secondary let's unplug that thing and the voltage would go down but how does it go up is amazing to me it's like magic I'm gonna let's let's go one step further let's do it let's put the let's put the next one in series okay that one would go there okay let's see I, I don't know which way is going to buck and boost but I know we got almost a thousand so I'm going to I'm going to put it right there and I'm going to put this one right there <clears throat> and we'll see what happens so I can just get a staggering amount of different voltages out of this thing there's a thousand and fifty two well, that thing's rated a thousand volts I don't want to blow my meter up so I'm gonna plug that pretty quick 1052 1052 now if I reverse the whole shebang now that I've got it all in a series that would be let's see <clears throat> now I'm confused okay I don't want that one going there uh, I'm drawing a blank here um, yeah no here's what it would be we take this one off and take that one off put that one here this should drop our voltage to the lowest point yet and it does it drops it to 745 745 we rate we dropped it which we expected we raised it because I, I, I just can't I just don't know how the, the rising works and there's another rise there's a drop 100 volts we a high rise and then dropped it way down by putting all three of them one to, putting all three of these in series in some order in phase out of phase can you explain that besides calling it buck and boost I'd love to hear it and thanks for all the uh, the comments and the support the discussions guys and uh, I really appreciate it 
Okay, boy was I excited over that, but I got the thing and there's there's got to be more to it than that and there is Okay, I put a, a clamp on ammeter around it. You can see it's measuring zero right now And I've got it hooked up as a normal transformer no No buck boost or anything and we plug this guy in uh, we're, we're looking at it on an analog meter now this guy here, I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to smoke my meter putting over a thousand volts on it. And it's right at 200 and, uh, 270 volts or sorry, 870 volts, excuse me. But that's not what's important right now. What's important right now is just how much current this thing is drawing. Just sitting there doing absolutely nothing. No load on it. I, I took the, the 10K load off and it's drawing uh, 350 milliamps. Okay, if we do 120 volts, I don't want to, you don't have to watch me play with the uh, calculator. If we do 120 volts times 350 milliamps, we get 43 watts right here. That's what this thing is is wasting in power, just sitting there. It's going to be dissipating 43 watts while it's doing absolutely nothing. Well, if we do this, if we move these taps around again where they were a while ago and we do this gigantic boost and now we look up here at the meter we see it's better than a thousand volts it's like a thousand and uh, fifty ten fifty well that's what we measured on a digital meter a while ago and with that in mind See my ears, see so just about everything. Our current draw now, while the transformer is doing absolutely nothing, is 940 milliamps. And if you do these little numbers, now the transformer is wasting 110 watts doing nothing in the boost mode. And if you do that ratio, of 110 to 43 you see that the transformer is dissipating to almost 2.6 times as much power doing nothing so I don't think in the long run it's going to work this idea of boost in this type of transformer now I suppose if a transformer is specifically designed for that uh, I guess so, but you know what? I'm beginning to think that this buck boosting is is not doing this at all. From from what I've seen, and unless I'm missing something, there there's only two kinds of boosts that that that's in that they talk about. And one would be if you put the the line across here and here, you're going to get some voltage out here. And you're going to boost it by moving this wire to here. And you're going to boost it again by moving it to here. Or, they talk about a, um, an auto transformer. And an auto transformer is just a big coil. It's just a big coil where you put, um, say if you put your 120 volts between here and here, you're going to get a boost between here and here because of these extra turns. That would boost it. That's an auto transformer. And lastly, of course, you could uh, you could make it a variac. So I, I think I, in all my happiness a minute ago, I think I just realized that uh, nothing is for free. And you, I am you can if I okay. Let's do one more thing. If we reverse this whole thing and drop the voltage way down, let's see, I got it unplugged, and we do this, you can put these uh, these extra windings in series. See how? Whoa! Oh shit! That wasn't supposed to happen. Well, I guess it arced through. Well, that, that's a little excitement. That's what happens when you. Uh, Huh. Oh, that was stupid. Look what I did. Look what I did. I hooked 120 volts up and then I 
I shorted this whole shebang across all of those uh, <laughs> all of those uh, six volt windings. Well, what do I expect? Well, at least I know why it happened. Okay, <coughs> let me clean this up. We'll uh, we'll move on. Okay, let's do this one more time. We do not give up. What I was trying to show you is if I put them in series to lower the voltage, if I put the polarity right of all three of them right now, we've, we're lowering it to our, our lowest voltage down here of 745. Let the camera focus on that. I'm going to lower it back to this voltage right here. If I do that and plug it in, look at our current now. 150 milliamps. 150 milliamps. I hope you can see that. And then if we do the math, which I haven't done it on this one yet, 120 volts, 120 times 0.15. See, that dropped our power consumption down to 18 watts. Now that's going to work. 18 watts. So normally it draws 43 wired to boost, it draws 110, I don't think that's sustainable. Putting them all in series to lower the voltage drops it down to 18, which makes complete sense to me, and this is sustainable. So you can go one way, but you really can't go the other, sadly, but true. So there you go. I guess I uh, kind of answered the question, didn't I? Let's unplug this thing.